in adequacy of classical physics question will come like this what are the inadequacies of classical physics or what are the failures of classical physics classical theory is applicable for bodies which can be observed by our naked eye or instrument directly if the dimension of the particles are very small then you cannot apply classical physics dimension of the particle small means like electron proton or light particles or heat particles or sound particles or electromagnetic particles like this in this case the dimension of the particles is very small and uh, classical physics which is basically newtonian physics in classical physics we apply newton's laws of motion so it is called newtonian physics so newtonian physics cannot be applied to very small particles like electrons protons etc the failure of classical physics actually started at the beginning of 20th century there are some experiments who in the experimental findings of some certain experiments like your black body radiation photoelectric effect and uh, your experiment like the spectrum of hydrogen atom these experiments uh, the experimental findings of these experiments could not be explained by classical physics this is the experimental curve of black body radiation at a particular temperature if you uh, plot the graph between wavelength and in intensity then this will be the nature of the black body spectrum and these are the various spectrum at various temperatures and the whole spectrum of black body radiation could not be explained by classical theory classical theory also failed to explain the experimental findings of photoelectric effect in the experiment which is uh, basically done by hodge or so sometimes called hodge experiment so the photoelectric effect the experimental findings of photoelectric effect could not be explained by classical theory classical theory also failed to explain the spectrum of hydrogen atom that is the hydrogen spectra and another problem in in class in classical physics is to explain the stability of the atom according to uh, maxwell's theory of electromagnetism uh, if the electron revolves around the uh, nucleus then it will continuously emit electromagnetic radiation electron being a charged particle when it revolves around the nucleus it will continuously emit uh, energy so if the energy will be radiated from the electron then the electron will not move in the uh, in the same orbit that means the orbit of the electron will be like this that means the electron will move in a spiral path and it will finally fall into the nucleus so the stability of the uh, atom could not be explained by uh, classical physics so during uh, 1925 to 1930 the effort of planck de broglie schrodinger heisenberg dirac and others they developed the subject of quantum mechanics as the fundamental theory to explain various phenomena occurring in atomic and subatomic scales so in question that means the failure of classical physics what are the failure of classical physics or or what are the inadequacies of classical physics um, for that question you have to basically mention the these four experimental findings Now, that is these four experimental findings could not be explained by classical physics these are the uh, inadequacy of classical physics basically these four experimental findings are the inadequacy of classical physics